Hello, I'm Sarah. And I'm Neris. And today we're going to show you how to make a simple motor. All you'll need is an AA battery, a magnet, a small screw and some insulated wire. If we take a compass and place our wire near the needle of the compass, now touch a battery to either end of the wire, the compass needle moves. This is because the electricity or current flowing through the wire creates a magnetic field. And we can use this magnetic force to drive our motor. OK, so to make your motor, take your screw and attach the magnet to the end. Now, take your battery and put the point of the screw on the negative end of the battery. Now take your insulated wire and touch one end to the positive terminal and the other end to the magnet. Cool! <laughs> Shoot, do it again. <laughs> <laughs> so how does a magnet and an electric current create this spinning motion? You've probably felt the force between two magnets when they're close to each other, as they attract or repel. It's a similar force which causes our screw to spin. So as the electricity flows through the wire, a magnetic field is generated, and the interacting magnetic fields of the magnet and the wire generate a force which causes our screw to rotate. In fact, you can do the same thing in reverse. If you move a magnet near to a copper wire, you can generate electricity. So if I take this magnet and drop it down this tube of copper wires, the lights light up as the electricity flows through them. And this shows us that in fact, electricity and magnetism are two forms of the same thing, electromagnetism. If you enjoyed this video, find out how to use a motor to make a scribbling robot. Or watch how motors can help robots balance. And for more science every week, click subscribe. Thanks for watching.